All right, guys. Another video on potato pond. Six six five Snapdragon. Let me not eight. Let me not seven. This one will be maybe next or the next day. Just now. Let me seven. Get to charge this one. Another potato, let me not buy. This one, let me not eat pro. Poco F3, potato pon also. Poco F3 NFC, potato pon also. This one, remember, let me not 3 pro potato also, let me not 3 pro also, 2 GB, 3 GB, we will test the game with the Skyline H, another from Lenovo, potato pawn also, this one still okay actually, Samsung, potato pawn, eh this one no, this is a Galaxy H, Samsung also, Samsung Galaxy A33, A31, forgot my name. This one, mm, Xperia XZ2, potato pond. Hey, this one, LG B50, LG g 8 I already ordered from China. Maybe next month it's coming and Lenovo forgot oh already. Lenovo. Remember this one? Snapdragon 835. MI6. Another potato pond. Realme. Another potato. This one. LG P50. Let's begin. Alright, before we begin, this is a custom ROM on my Redmi Note 8. OnePlus 8 Pro. OnePlus 8 Pro. <laughs> Fake. SD665. OnePlus 8 Pro SD665. Well, I'm trying to pull the XNS uh, app, but, well, <laughs> not much I can say. Right, the system OnePlus 8 Pro, Android 13. The info are fake. Even the GPU can be fake. But, uh -huh, never mind. All right, uh, you know already the RAM swapping. Go to memory. Any kernel manager will do. Enable the Z RAM. How much RAM you want to swap? Also, thermal profile. Use dynamic. The CPU, you can push it uh, using performance. On the low-end device, not much a problem to use performance. Okay. Installing the GPU driver. Use Magis. This is the latest Magis 25.2 module. No module. Install from storage. Select the storage where you copy the module. My module are inside my SD card. So, this is the module for the 665 by loss. Swap. Let it finish install, then reboot. That's it. 
and don't simply flash any GPU module driver use only recommended one remember that you hear me if you simply flash it your device will put loop or even was crash or even was brick don't simply flash okay remember that that's that's why I don't recommend any if you want to try that's up to you so the module we already used the 615 right tune the port oh why over there memory already tuned gpu you can boost it also boost to high gpu let's check again the scheduler thermal this one need to lock lock it CPU performance actually not much a different schedule and a performance but the performance the CPU are pushed to maximum every time okay that's it the setting and This is the game setting GPU driver for this uh, SD665. You can use also by loss. Also, if your device not rooted, you can use this driver. This is a driver for the skyline tunip. This one will not work. Post close rest of the setting like so fast GPU repack oh we don't have the Bayonetta 2 not a problem all on just swap the SD card sorry for the long video at least I'm trying to teach you so you might learn something another SD card so on the whole file so when you switch the location of the file the ISO always search back this inside the this switch use this folder now we can play Leo Neta 2 on version 24 any speed improvement on SD665 for GB of RAM Do we have the set state? Okay, same set state as this uh, Redmi 7. A bit glitch on the 615 driver but at least this one almost 20 fps 21 21 or 22 somewhere there hey not bad
Only the graphic. Okay. On the character. Maybe I will try using the old driver. Open the L. Almost 20 FPS. Okay, let's. using the system driver the system driver also 615 for this uh, CR droid you can disable the 615 disable it and restart well already restart actually the system driver also 615 I will compare it just now the BIOS the custom GPU driver we already disable it disable let's see any glitch so the setting for the FK kernel manager will be reset back to the original it's not using the performance because we restart the pawn but uh, the one that I lock at the, at the Hannibal that one will be maintained like the RAM uh, 4 GB the The mal profile also lock using the more or less the glitch. Same as of course using the six one five, but the speed might I think a bit improve the speed. More to 18, 19, 20 FPS. Okay, the speed. A uh, bit glitched. Eh? Not so bad on the. SD632 better maybe using the older GPU driver you see at least eh? 
failure is not an option. Well, not bad. 20 FPS. Potato bone, man. What do you expect? See the spit uh, in the water now. Wow, the graphic. Why are you silent? The voice, <laughs> the emote voice lost. If you need, if you need me, just leave a comment below. Let's go there. sound Well, not bad, not bad, except the color of this uh, not so visible, the info, the FPS info 22 now, 24, 23, wow, Not bad, not bad. Why do you want to go into the water? Hmm. So far, the six six five. I think this one okay. Seldom crash and because of the RAM. So that's why root uh, unlock your device bootloader. Install custom ROM, root it. Install Magis. Install GPU driver. Seen this one already using 615. There's no need to use this uh, another 615. You can use the Tunip, Tunip now. And also RAM swapping this one most important because 
uh, memory only 4 GB if you got 3 GB even worse enable the DRAM state and lock it DRAM size make it maximum lock it and also thermal profile already locked there except the CPU just now I tune it to performance when I restart the GPU CPU it will be back to scattered till if you want to make it performance always lock it even after reboot it will be there. right that's it next also potato pond thank you for watching stay tuned for the next video